Okay, hi guys. Let's have a look at outline text quickly and easily in Affinity Designer using the contour tool. It's an Affinity Designer tutorial, of course, but it's on the iPad in this version, but equally doable on the desktop and the PC or Mac. So, let's get right to it. Open a blank canvas and drag out some text. Make the text a nice bold font. I've used ZT Voltra here. It's a really nice font with some really sharp edges. Now, so to create an outline, we can use the contour tool located on the left side toolbar in my case. With your word highlighted, select contour. You'll see a control box appear around the text and a context toolbar will appear on the bottom. And you can see it there quite clearly. Notice the little handle on the top. That's the same as if you had the text highlighted, so don't confuse it. And you can drag that little handle to the left or to the right. Either right to create an offset, and you can see it's enlarged the text beyond its boundaries. Or you can drag it left to create an inset. It reduces the size of the text. Very nifty, actually. But in order to use this to create an outline around our object, we need to duplicate the object first. So select the bottom layer now. You can see I've got two layers there. One's a duplicate of the other. So select the bottom layer. So we can see the new layer and its outline. Let's make the layer red. Makes it easy to see. Although of course you can't see it now because the black layer above it is actually hiding it. Now, with the contour tool selected, remember up the left hand side there, carefully drag the handle just a smidgen to the right a little. You'll see the contour appear around the original text. And even that looks very nice already. And you can set this to an exact number by entering it in the context toolbar. Notice the corners of the outline are round but it would be nice to have them match the text. Now, you'll note that I've got the arrow pointing at the size there. Remember that size. You might prefer to make these nice round numbers, if at all possible, within your design. In other words, 0.056 will be a difficult number to remember if you want to set something. So you could make it 0.06, easy number, or 0.05 easy number. Okay, now remember that because we'll come back to this towards the end of this little exercise. Let's change the corners, we're going back to that, to match the text. In the context toolbar, change the contour type to mitre. Now we have nice sharp corners and you can see the corners on the red outline very sharp. Lovely. If you select bevel, it gives the corners a, well, hmm, a bevel shape. And on this text, it's more rounded than bevel, really. It might work really well on large objects or images or single letters. Not so much on a line of letters like this. So, we'll set it back to mitre. Now, we still have one hurdle to get over. How do we scale that text? Scaling the text or objects. If you select the entire set of objects by dragging a group around the word and scale it down, the outline remains the same. That's not what we want. We don't want a huge border around our small text. We want to preserve our original scaling. So let's go back to our original and draw the bounding box around it by dragging out over it. This selects the entire set. Now, select the context tool again, uh, contour tool again, sorry. Then in the context toolbar, select bake appearance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mary Berry, here we come. This has the effect of changing the entire set to curves. And you can see there we've got two now got two groups of curves. And you can leave them in groups or you can ungroup them. With the two layers selected, go to edit and ungroup all. And there you have them ungrouped. So you've got 
a huge set of letters there. It makes them fairly easy to select, but if you've got a lot, um, it can get a little messy. This ungroups all the curves. As you see, it takes the curves out of their groups, and you can, of course, leave them in their groups, which is where I prefer, in this case, to leave them. Now, remember I spoke about sizes? Here's where it becomes important. See your text curves layer size, and you can see I've got the transform toolbar open there, transform studio. And the layer size is 5.6 by one inch. So let's say we want to reduce that to half its size, 2.8 by 0.5 inch. Well, we'll have to scale the border outline as well, otherwise it looks downright ugly. Nice there, but here, no, downright ugly. Ugh. So let's fix it. Select only the red layer that makes up the outline. You can see I've got each curve in the layer selected. It's no good just selecting the group. Select the layer. Select all the red curves, then select the contour tool. And you can see the contour is still the original size we set at 0.056. But we halved the text size, so really we need to halve the outline or contour size. So half of 0.056 is 0.028. Aren't you glad you did all that math at school? So let's change it. Much nicer. Now the outline looks scaled. Lovely. So that's it for this little tutorial. Remember, if you scale that up, do the same thing. Or not, as your design suits. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the thumbs up for a like and the bell to be reminded when new videos appear. I really appreciate it.